Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7. Uh, one interesting thing that I uh, meant to uh, make note of. Uh, every time you save, um, the avatar says, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> the man before you narrows his eyes to slits as he sees you. Name. Lord, if thou must know. Job. I don't believe I wish to tell thee. Uh, I think that means you have no job. Tell me about the gargoyles. A growl escapes his throat. What about the bloody gargoyles? Don't tell me thou art a gargoyle lover. Yes. Thou art disgusting, swine! He spits on your boot. Lauren sighs heavily. Why dost thou bother me now? Gargoyles. Alright, we'll go with no. That is good, my friend. A sudden inspiration seems to flash across his face. Perhaps thou canst help me, as thou undoubtedly knowest. I was set upon by a cruel gargoyle not too long ago. He nearly took my life. T'would be a great honor, my lady, if thou wouldst agree to avenge me. Art thou willing? No. Fine, my lady, thou art nothing more than a coward. He shakes his head. Mm, goodbye. Dang it. All right, it's the gargoyle that you talk to that will lead to a combat. I want to kill him, though. He deserves it. All right, I never talked to this guy, so let's go ahead and do that. A very neat, well-groomed, kindly man stands before you. A name. He smiles at you. Ah, excellent. Thou art not afraid to ask question. Thou art not afraid to ask question? Remember, there are no stupid questions, only dumb ones. My name is Eldroth, my lady. It doesn't make sense. Job? I, uh, I, my friend, am the provisioner. And, if I may be a modest, also a counselor for Vesper. Perhaps I can someday give thee advice, my lady. For remember, that which does not kill us makes us wounded. What? Oh, tell me about Vesper. Yes, my lady, this town is full of wonderful people to whom I have given advice. Uh, tell me about the people. About whom doth thou wish to know? Austin, the gargoyles, Liana, Cador, perhaps Yongi? Uh, what about the gargoyles? I fear they will stage an uprising. I know Austin holds the same thoughts. For very recently he approached me and asked me for my guidance to prepare for just such an incident. I will warn thee just as I warned him. Always remember, milady, the best defense is a good defense. What? Uh, what about Austin? The mayor? I would have thought thou wouldst have met him by now, milady. He is performing an excellent job. Thou mayest not realize this, he blushes, but tis I who suggested he run for the office. Uh, what about Liana? Liana is a very fine young woman who clerks at the town hall. And Yongi? He's the bartender at the guild... Glided Gizzard? Oh, yeah. he stops, shakes his head, then corrects himself. I mean the Lilded Lizard, he frowns. No, it's the Gilded Lizard. Yes, that's it. Yeah, you do seem to be going a little bit nuts, so... Uh, Cador? Cador oversees the mines. He and his wife, Ivella, have a lovely daughter named Catherine. And no one. Advice? Early to bed, early to rise, rise makes Jack a dull boy. Uh, I, I think that you've uh, mixed up some metaphors there. Goodbye. Farewell, milady. Never forget, the grass is always greener when it rains. Uh... A bird in the hand squirms? You scare me, buddy. You scare me. Alright, let's uh, head over this way. This should be the uh, other part of town. Where the gargoyles live. A locked chest, eh? We shall soon correct that. Oh my god, all that gold. <laughs> Pick broke. Boo. Boo. How many do I have? 19. I've got some more in other people's inventories. Hey! There we go. And all there are is leather leggings and gargoyle jewelry. God damn it. Take the meat. That is our compensation. Uh, we'll go into this building here. Totally not trusting, uh, um, chests anymore. 
Pick broke. Unlocked. There we go. And it is empty. Yay. Wasting picks. Yay. And gargoyle jewelry. Now this, I think, is a place that I want to be. To be or not to be by Wislem. To be the words comprising the complete Gargish Primer, designed to educate the young gargoyle mind, both winged and wingless. So the wing wingless ones are uh, um, intelligent now. Thy message received by Forlem, translated by Jillian. Within this diary is revealed the poor treatment of the gargoyle race since the return of the Codex two centuries ago. To have noticed that humans remain uncomfortable with us, they have given us our own island to populate. But is... Is this gift designed to keep us segregated? To have wondered why so few gargoyles leave Turfin. To have no more doubts, having lived in Vesper. To see the hatred for our race. To see, to feel the disgust. To understand not, for it was humans who destroyed our land, not gargoyles. To seek communication, to seek friendship, to seek trust. To speculate that none are forthcoming. To ask the humans why. To see the terror and loathing, and to know there will be no answer given. To hope for a future of harmony. But to realize that with segregation, to realize that with segregation there can be none. To hope for education of both races, for our children and ourselves. To hope and to live. Kodavar by Nexa. Within these pa within the pages of this novel is the parable of a of an uh, a usurping lord, seemingly inspired by Blackthorn's tyrannical rule during Lord British's disappearance more than two hundred years ago. And Gargoyle Like Me by Derek. Within this work lies a fascinating novel of a human who poses as a gargoyle to view what life is like from the Gargish point of view. The story is, rem is a remarkable mix of historic and entertaining facts from encounters with many gargoyles. A particular emphasis of the work is the importance of the gargoyle family structure. As there is no evidence of gargoyles having a gender, it is odd how close father gargoyles maintain a relationship with their presumably adopt adopted son. The attitude seems similar to that of how the more intelligent winged gargoyles treat the wingless. There is an air of condescension, but the feelings of care still exist, as if the wingless were children to be protect, to be protect and watched over by the winged. Okay, let's uh, get down here. Did I look in this? I did. Okay. And now some... Uh, there we go! Hey, first try! Nothing good, though. Dang it! Let's close that out. Dang it! There we go. Hey, money! I'll take the money. Do-do-do-do-do! And there is a gargoyle, and there is stuff that we want. Oh, look at all the stuff. All of the good stuff. Let's go ahead and take the good stuff first. Then we shall talk to the gargoyle. Uh, let's give this stuff to uh, Shimino for now. Magician's Wand. I'm not sure if those do anything. I don't remember. I will have to play around with that. Oops. So that's Hack Mover. I just moved Shimino like that. I'm gonna have to need. I'm gonna have to turn that off soon. <laughs> hey, come back here. The weird gargoyle in front of you has a wild look about him. Name. To wonder why you want to know. Hey. To go away, human. To have nothing you want, screams Wiss, sir. Job. To sell the few items I possess. Sell? To want to buy something? He looks at you carefully, as if he's unsure whether, you, whether to sell to you. To be possible, he says, nodding. To ask what you need. Um... I am not sure what he sells that I want. Let's, uh, let me, uh, take a quick look. Uh, let's see. 
Witzer does have a couple spells that I want. Um, he does not have anything. The first circle that I want. Let's see, what about second circle? Um... Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> He's a little bit more expensive than most people, it looks like. But there are four spells, at least, that he sells at a cheaper rate than others. For example, Reveal. All right. Spells. Uh, that is fourth circle. Reveal. Ninety gold to be agreeable. Yes, to agree. To be interested in another spell. Yes, indeed. Let's see what else. Um, he also sells conjure cheaper. That is also fourth. Uh, conjure. Yes. And what else? Uh, not that. And Mass Curse. Get Mass Curse. Yep. And what else? Um, I think that's pretty much all of the... So let's see, what what was that? One, two, three. I know that there's another spell that he sells. Let me uh let me check something. Do I have a uh, great douse? Uh that's first circle, isn't it? It is. I do not have it, and that is cheaper. So that'll be about all his uh spells. Spells, first, uh, Great Douse, yes, nope, sell, and reagents. What, uh, what reagents does he have that I want? Um... Uh, it does not look like he sells anything cheapest for uh, reagents. So... Nope. He does sell a couple potions. Red and orange potions, apparently. At least. Maybe some other potions as well. Um, nothing. Goodbye. It'd be good that you leave. Let's see if I can... Uh, Nope, can't really talk to him about anything else. There's a uh, gargoyle up here. You see a very large, strong, wingless gargoyle. Name. To answer to for them. Uh, job. To do odd jobs for others. Also to record gargoyle legends in written form. Uh, legends? To have many interesting stories about our race. To be writing them down for future generations. Generations? To be afraid for the future of gargoyle youths. To tell you they know little about their heritage. To feel it important to educate them and the offspring who follow them in our ways and history. Uh, what about the stories? To have had many exciting myths from before the Avatar's encounters with our race. To share the concept of a hero with the humans, but to have had many, uh, to have had different humor heroes from our own history. Uh, others? To be friends with Lap Lem, and know he is a good miner. Also to know Ansicart, who reminds us of singularity in these troubled times. Troubled times? To be angry with the humans. To be treated poorly and with contempt. To know not why, he shrugs. Uh, what does four limb mean? To mean strong one. Okay. All right, goodbye. To tell you goodbye, human. See? See? They're nice. They're nice. Can't believe the other humans Go don't. Go inside. Tell them you are the Avatar. Nope. Nope. Not falling for that. Uh, um. Oh, hey. 
Not falling for that one, uh, Guardian. The gargoyle standing before you has a sour expression on his face. Name. To be kept to be called a Arvidlem. To recognize you to be the Avatar. Job. To be provide to provide provisions for others in Vesper. Uh others? To have only a few gargoyles living in town. To know mainly Wizzer and Ansicart, and to know of some uh, some wingless ones. Uh what about Vesper? To be a town filled with prejudice and hatred. To know the humans expect us to begin a violent confrontation. To believe the humans deserve it, he shrugs. But to hope my brethren display more control than that. Uh, buy provisions. To purchase what item? Uh, torch, oil flasks, shovel, powder keg. Ooh, you can buy powder kegs. Bucket, jar, cloth. Uh, nothing. To be fine. Goodbye. To bid you goodbye. I do agree with you about, uh, the humans of this town, uh... Deserving it, but uh, that's that's for another day. Ooh, cloth. <laughs> uh, first of all, let's go ahead and pick the uh, pick the lock here. There we go. And to find nothing inside, good. But we will take advantage and cut that up and join it. Do 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 do. So I should take these back here. And I thought these were supposed to go to uh, Spark. Where are you, Spark? There you go. Take my invisibility powder. There you go. And there you go. Okay. Nothing much else there. Not going to double click on the powder kicks. Don't want to kill the gargoyles. I like the gargoyles. Have some meat. Again, not trusting the gargoyles uh, um, to not trap their chests. Because they totally do that. Unlock, and to find nothing good. Alright, where is my map again? Ooh, whoops. Clicked on the wrong window and it did something funky. Alright, let's see. I went in there, I went in there, I went in there. Well, all that really leaves is this one. Um, you know what? Let's see what happens. Well, first of all, we can, uh, do a little bit of looting. Maybe. Ooh. Um, Avatar requires donations of food um, to the poor. Uh, the poor being our party. Um, so, um, pardon us for uh, uh, borrowing this food. But uh, it is necessary for uh, our journey. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to the cause. Uh, let's see. These are all gargoyle jewelry. That is also gargoyle jewelry. Don't need any of those. Don't need any of that. Hello! The winged gargoyle has a very calm air about him. As he first sees you, a smile of recognition appears on his face. To present greetings, Avatar. Name. To be called Ansicart. Uh, job? To serve food and drink to others. Ansicart? To mean anti-dry master. Others? To know all the gargoyles in Vesper. To want to know about specific ones? Uh, yeah, actually. To want information, perhaps, about the Provisioner or the Sage? Um, well, tell me about Vesper. To be a town full of hate. To have the humans hate us and to know many hate them, especially and Manevas and Foranimo. To be not a good thing, he appears saddened. Uh, and Manevas? To have worked the mines with Laplem, but to have left just recently, he shakes his head. To hate the humans who work there, and to live on the other side of the oasis. To be too violent. To be no longer permitted on the other side. Laplem? To mine for the mining company here. To be the only gargoyle still mining there. He nods his head. 
to be very tolerant, like for them. Uh, for them? To be a laborer for the town. Tolerant, huh? To work now with only humans, who hate and degrade him. To continue working, however, despite this. To be quite tolerant of human intolerance. He nods as if to emphasize his point. Indeed. Uh, what about Foranimo? To be brother to it, and Manivas, and to have been raised by the same parent. To hate humans as much as it, and Manivas, he, and, he sighs, to be allowed no longer to visit the, uh, the human side. Uh, what about the provisioner? To be or vid, or vid them. To have become sullen lately, but to know not why. Uh, sage. To be named with Sir. To have once been a great mind. To be now paranoid and reclusive. To feel pretty, pity for with Sir. Alright, goodbye. Well, I need to go back and check to see if with Sir was the same uh, guy, who, the same gargoyle who was in uh, um, the desert previously. For some reason I vaguely recall him not being so, but I'm not sure. Um, so these are the gargoyle... No, that's la that's for them. Goodbye. Hello! The gargoyle stares at you, displeased at the interruption. Name. To have no desire to tell you. To demand to know who you are. I am Elmandretta. To tell you to go away. Oh, that's just rude. The gargoyle stares at you, displeased at the interruption. Job. To have none! glares fiercely at you. Name? Uh, the Avatar. As the gargoyle looks up at you, anger crosses his face. He stands quickly, overturning his drink. Humans, he says, pointing at you and your companions, to be the cause of our unhappiness. The gargoyle by his side also rises. To be the reason for our poverty. To die, humans, to die. The two gargoyles force the table from their path with ease as they charge to attack you. Well, so that's what happens. And they have nothing. Uh, let's see if he says something different now. Uh, apparently not. Let's see. To have been killed by you in this very tavern, to remember not? To have been his fault, but still, to tell you I feel a remorse for him and his brother. To... Yeah, so they do actually change if you, uh, say something. So I'm not gonna kill him. So let's go back to that one. Load. Alright. I just need to talk to him real fast. Do, 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 do. Yes. Sage. Provisioner. Vesper. Do, 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 do. Goodbye. Alright, so. Don't tell these two gargoyles who you are. Gargo the gargoyle is obviously displeased with the intrusion of your presence. Uh, job. Looks like he's gonna say basically the same thing. Uh, milady. To tell you to go away. Yes. So don't tell them that you're the avatar. Use your name or, uh, uh, milady. And, uh, all they do is just tell you to go away. Now, there is a little kid to see somewhere around here. somewhere. Um, we have not seen Catherine. We have not been to the mines either. Ah, there's Catherine. You see before you a young girl with a carefree expression. She, As she notices you, her eyes grow wide as she exclaims, Thou art the person in one of four, one of my storybooks. Thou art the Avatar. Uh, name? My name is Catherine, Milady Avatar. Job? I have no job, Milady Avatar. I live with my father and mother here in Vesper. Uh, father? He is the overseer at the mines, my lady avatar. Mother? Yes, my lady avatar. She is there right now. She points apparently indicating her house. Uh, actually, your mother's right here. Uh, Vesper? 
That is the name of our city, Milady Avatar. If thou art lost, thou mayest wish to speak with the town clerk. Uh, goodbye. And there's one other gargoyle that we have not uh, talked to. Let's uh, actually take a quick look at the time. 5.48 p.m. So we do want to visit here around noon. Um, to see something, uh... Who? What the heck was that sound? No, that's, uh... It's not the person that I want. This is his house. That is the gargoyle that I wanted to see. Um... Well, for now, let's go, uh... Find a book. Shut up! No food for you! It's my food. Shut up! My food. Can't have it. So, we do get this free boat, which is pretty awesome. Um, if you did not get, um... Oh, don't need an an anchor. You know what? I've got a uh, hack mover on, so let's go ahead and just dump the anchor there. We don't need it. Uh, we've got a bunch of food there. Um, you get this ship because of the, uh, ooh, yellow potions. Um, the inclusion of the, um, Forge of Virtue expansion. If you, uh, were playing this back in the day and you didn't have the, the, uh, uh expansion which came out later, of course, um, then you wouldn't get this free boat. I'm not even sure if the uh, dock would be here. But they make the uh, the ship some distance away from town. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, the main towns, simply so that you don't just hop on it right away. Now, one other thing that we do want to grab is... Oh, hey, there's people. Not talk to all of these people. Uh, that should be Mara. You see a well-muscled woman who lifts her head in acknowledgement of your presence. Name. The woman grabs your hand and shakes vigorously. Hello, my name's Mara. What is thine? Almandretta. Tis good to meet thee. Job. She flexes proudly. I am a miner in Vesper. Uh, tell me about Vesper. This used to be a pleasant town. She looks around, apparently checking if anyone is near, till the gargoyles became so unruly. Now most of us have to spend far too much time wondering when the gargoyles will decide they want to kill us. Gargoyles? She shrugs. There is not to say except that they are a menace. This town would be much better would be a much better place without them. Us? Well, I know Cador feels as I do, as does his wife. I've heard the mayor expresses his concern about them. I don't really know his clerk, Liana. Uh, tell me about Cador. He is in charge of managing the mines. Does a fair job, too. He usually joins me at the Gilded Lizard. Uh, what about the wife? Ivella is a lovely woman. She spends her days caring for their daughter, Catherine. Uh, Mayor? His name is Austin. I like him, but I suspect that Liana is the one who truly keeps Vesper in order. Uh, what about Liana? I've only seen her a few times. I do not know her well enough to say this, but I think she is angry about something. For she is always in a bad mood. Uh, Gilded Lizard. That is a tavern here in Vesper. Yongi's the barkeeper. He serves a passing fair tankard of ale. And goodbye. Mara shakes her hand and slaps you on the back, saying, Fare thee well, friend. And now, nope, that's him. Bye. You see a broad-shouldered man with a solemn look about him. Uh, name. The man shakes her hand. I am Cador. Job. I oversee the local branch of the Britannian Mining Company in Vesper. We mine many different minerals. Uh, tell me about the Fellowship. It is a wonderful organization. They perform many works of charity and special events, parades and such. He points to his medallion. As thou canst see, I am a member. I truly believe. I, f I fully believe in the triad of inner strength. Uh, tell me about the town. That is the name of her town. Liana at the town hall can give thee any more information that thou mightest need. But I have lived here with my family since the branch opened. Uh, we? I work with Mara and a gargoyle named Laplem. 
Uh, what minerals do you mine? Gold and lead. Triad? Those are the Fellowship's three prin basic principles. Strive for unity, trust thy brother, and worthiness precedes reward. Uh, what can you tell me about Liana? She keeps records at Town Hall. And tell me about your family. Yes, my wife, Evella, and my daughter, Catherine. And what about Mara? She is a fantastic worker. Better than most men I have mined with. And tell me about Lap Lem. Well, for a gargoyle, he's not too lazy. He works much harder than the other one who left. And my not men of us. But I would fain let let him go I would fain let him go if we did not need the extra hand. Oh, that's kinda rude. It's been a pleasure, my lady. Uh, let's see. You are yeah, that's that's you. Okay. Now, one thing that we do want to do is grab some of these. I've still got Hack Mover on, but I need these for storage. Let's go ahead and grab the, uh, the barrels. I'll dump out any other uh, other con uh, any other contents in these that I don't need. Um, before we end, uh, let's go see if we can still find that last gargoyle. And we got something... Oh, snakes! Watch out for snakes! Still not there. Alright, maybe he's at the tavern? Nope, I have no idea where the hell he is. Alright, we're gonna have to come back at noon then, I think. That's fine. Let's get back to the ship. And more snakes! More snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah, down to three ammunition. I'm definitely going to need to get more of that. Oh, people are hungry. Okay, well, anyway. Um, go ahead and fill up the hold with uh, all of our goodies. Um, off camera, and in the next episode, I'll probably rest and wait until noon, and then pick it up um, uh, when Catherine, uh, with uh, our little event with Catherine and one of the gargoyles. See you next time, everyone.